Nathan Judo. I'm here with Wolves reporter Tim Spears. We are back. It's pre-season, 2-0 win. Everything's happy days, isn't it, Tim? Is it? <laughs> I, I don't know. You tell um, me. Yeah, for, for the game itself, it was job done, wasn't it, really? A clean sheet, two, two nicely taken goals, some good individual performances, no injuries, which is very important. As, you know, we've got so many injured players and not mm. much of a squad at the moment, so that's important. Plenty of fitness um, and some decent individual performances. So as, as a one-off game, first friend of the season, uh, yeah, plenty of positives and no negatives from tonight. Some of the fans were a little bit worried when they saw the team sheets. No, no squad numbers and we didn't know what was happening. I, Conspiracy theories? No squad numbers. Uh, a lot of players on the bench that, that you know, some fans who, who who follow Wolves quite ardently might not even recognise. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's that way at the moment. I think they had eight or nine teenagers in the squad tonight. Uh, roughly the same number still have made the day before the club. So it's, it's threadbare. Um, you know they've still got a decent first team to mm -hmm. put out. This, this is the kind of team that ended ended last season. Yeah. Um, but 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 we knew that, that that wasn't good enough then. So why would it be good enough in August? So it's, you know it's not all not all, not all doom and gloom, is no. it? There's a lot of uncertainty around at the moment. From the game itself tonight, Wolves played well. Um, Jed Wallace did really well mm -hmm. on the right. Um, expecting a big expecting a big season from him. Didn't didn't happen for him last year. Injuries and whatnot. Um, but he ended the season on a bit of a high. I think there was a lot more to come for him this season. Did really well on the right. Uh, James Henry did well in kind of floating number 10 role, mm -hmm. which Jacket has admitted just now it's, it's completely out of necessity because they haven't got any more strikers. Sure. But still he played well. Jack Price was very good as well. Again, hope for a decent season from him. And a couple of couple of uh, youngsters as well. Bright, Ina Bakari looked good when he came on. Mm -hmm. And Aaron Hayden was pretty solid at centre-half as well. Bit of a surprise to see Kevin McDonald in the lineup. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, as far as we, as far as we know, last I heard, uh, the the move isn't off to Fulham. Uh, they just haven't agreed personal terms yet. It's kind of ongoing negotiations. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Kenny seems quite confident of taking him to to Ireland. You can never tell McDonald. <laughs> I mean, Christ, so much has happened with him this last year. It was only a year ago uh, we were talking about his on-off move to Fulham, mm -hmm. uh, and here we are again with exactly the same scenario. Um, but he's in the team. He's Wolves' his best midfielder on uh, on his day. I think everybody knows that. If we can get fit, Ken McDonald with his head screwed on, concentrating on playing football for Wolves, mm -hmm. then that's a, that's a huge plus because we didn't have that last year. No Ebanks Landell, no Mike Williamson, both both injuries. Uh, yeah, Williamson's uh, out of training for a month or missed the start of the season. Ebanks Landell's uh, got sore foot. Uh, not sure on the ETA for his uh, comeback at the moment. Um, First, first choice back four is fine. Mm. Good, good back four that ended the season really well with a lot of clean sheets. Um, but yeah, injuries as, as Kenny knows. Um, and Wolves up Creek without, without a paddle. Absolutely. I mean, they are very skinny, aren't they? Without that starting eleven, I mean, you know, it's they're not going to mount a challenge for, for promotion at this rate, are they? No, they're, no, 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 they're not. And they're, they'll be um, with the form that they showed in the second half of last season. They'll be favourites for relegation. Mm. I don't think anyone could argue with mm. that. Um, I mean, just just spoke to Kenny just now and. and I should be asking him, you know, when are you bring in players in, you know, you've got no left winger, you're going to be signing left winger, you've you've got you've got one left back who's never been left back before, you're going to sign a left back, you're going to sign a striker, you're going to sign centre but there's no point in asking him, no, um, because it's all on hold mm -hmm. and, and we don't know what's happening and and we'll wait and see what happens with, with the takeover first. So it's it's very odd. We should be getting excited about the new season. Yeah, this will certainly focus the mind. By the way, this game, you know, three weeks to the start of the season, mm -hmm. when you look at Wolves' squad tonight. Um, it's going to come around very quickly, but Wolves, Wolves, you know, it's all very exciting this takeover, as, as we said before. Mm -hmm. um, but until anything, con until anything's con anything is confirmed, mm -hmm. then fans will be uh, concerned about what's happening with this club at the moment. Well, that's it. You've got to, you've got to almost step aside now, put it to the back of your mind, because you know it is reality, isn't it? And before they know it, they're going to be out there at Rotherham, and you know, 45 minutes into the game, and they'll be like, "What's, what's going on?" Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. But I think they've got a really good. Guy in charge for, mm -hmm. the, for this situation. Yeah. You know, Jacket, as we know, is the consummate professional. He won't let any of his players be slacking. He'll be concentrating their minds for the start of the season. Mm -hmm. You could already see he's, he's pretty much pretty much played the same same team for the last two friendlies. They had a behind closed doors one last week, so he's yeah. already preparing his eleven, sure. preparing his formation for the start of the season. Yeah. Again, they'll you know he'll make them be making them hard to beat like he was last year. Mm -hmm. He'll be trying to grind out results. Um, not what the fans want to hear, but not, not what the fans want to hear. But but he's good in this situation. I don't, yeah. th I don't think Wolves will implode while, no. while he's in charge. No. Basically, you know, I think uh, he's, he's got the respect of the players. Mm -hmm. They're all his players. Um, he can still put a decent eleven out. They'll all be working hard. There was no question of that last year. So you know, there'll be no disaster on the pitch. Uh, I said earlier, Wolves will be favourites for relegation, and rightly so. But I, I still don't think. 
that they would that they would necessarily be relegated um, with the team that they've got. Perhaps with the squad as the season goes on, but this is all you know way ahead in the future. But for the here and now, I think they've got they've got the right man to kind of lead them through this uh, uncertain time over the next few weeks. And we move on to Cork now. We move on to Cork. Uh, a lot of the youngsters didn't play tonight. Uh, we're expecting them to play on Monday. The likes of Niall Ennis, O'Hanlon, Leek, Connor Rowan, and, and others. They'll all be given their chance on um, on Monday. Cork are in the middle of um, a couple of European qualifiers at the moment, so they won't be playing a first-choice team either. So not really the glamour friendly that, that many be uh, looking at, but a, a good chance for these guys to impress. So much is um, so much is, is is thought of Niall Ennis, you know, mm -hmm. a real wonder kid, and can't wait to see how he does. Um, so there's little chinks of positivity here and there uh, for Wolves fans to latch onto while we wait and see what happens off the field. Yeah, we will be in Cork as well, so we're bringing you all the latest updates throughout the week. Um, and for the latest Wolves news, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.